Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Stranger Things, episode three. Last time on- Poor Garby! Yeah, Bob, oh shit, I'm so excited. Oh, check out that poor Garby. Sure isn't that, doesn't this Not come now. out so well? It looks so white. I love it. Last time on Stranger Things, Trash can. Oh, dun, 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 Trash can. What was in there? Shenanigans. I think he was Muse. I'm guessing. Well, the cat. It's not Jason the cat. Muse? Something related to. I don't know. It'd be stupid if it was something related to Upside Down. <laughs> well, it would be stupid? Don't be stupid, man. If it was Why would it be stupid? Why would it, it be would make right sense. in his trash can? There's, he's in fucking Hawkins. Hawkins. Yeah, but why him? That's. Why those pumpkins? Why, just, Be, I don't know. Why Mike? Because they're in Hawkins. Well, that's a coincidence, but to ha because it happened Why? to Mike, there's oh, less it's the entire premise him. of the show. Why was he in Will's shed? If it could happen to anyone, unless it's happening to everyone, why yeah. would it happen to him? Why was um, Will's shed? Not, everyone didn't disappear. When what Will if it is happening to This is just because you... What if everybody has one in their garbage can? How about then, that? Then it would make sense. Mm -hmm. I, but are you saying that if it doesn't happen to anyone else, it won't make sense? No. No, because well, not every that. kid in a that. shed got kidnapped last <laughs> it's a season. False dichotomy! And I, mean, I, I, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. It. Only one kid in a shed got kidnapped. We also had Max. We had Max's dude brother. Fuck By the guy. way, that's the fucking Red Power Ranger. Rangers. Power yeah. Rangers. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Someone told me. I like, looked, Holy I, fuck, I, that is him! I what? Looked, I looked at that shot when he was like yeah. spitting beer in slow motion. <laughs> Yeah, he's from what? Power Rangers. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, Which is a really good I movie. I haven't Go seen see it. That. Yeah. Go see that so we can get a sequel. Now I don't want to watch it. It's we, a uh, great movie. And we have Elle I in the cabin. I don't believe you. Huh? Elle's in the cabin. Yep. With right. Hopper. With Hopper? I don't accept Max as a new member of the team. What? I, I do. That's yeah. too bad. She is. Shane, why did you accept me as a new member of the team? Then? We haven't. Because you proved yourself. <laughs> So Max hasn't proved well, himself L, L by, by beating L was the highest score Rick left. of Dig Dug. If Rick was taken, then you came, I wouldn't accept you. He was just making the high score. <laughs> what? Guys, was guys. He, L was taken, yeah. We gotta Rick watch Stranger taken. Things. Uh, I think that's, that's all the... And then she's sitting in the... Substitute. Substitute. Something's going on with, uh, with Will. See oh, shit, Will, we'll we don't need him. That's... Oh. What? Okay, what'd you find? Nothing. That's a face of someone that found something there. He's shoot. got something in his trap. Ooh, what's that? Oh, he's no, he's not. Are you constipated again? Yes. Oh, I'll go to the bathroom right now. <gasps> it's in the trap! What is it? It's, ah. uh, oh, he's, it's a turtle! He's kicking the turtle out. Turtle. Oh. Holy shit! Get what what that, a turtle, look at this shit! It's a poly... It's like a, a beanie beanie polywog. It's a salamander. <laughs> Beanie Beanie just needs, he needs a back two That's feet. That's fucking upside down, I'll tell you that. How did it thud around the trash can so much? Exactly. That thing's so fucking small. They're super strong, man. It's... Don't give it no chocolate, it'd get hyper. It's nougat, It's like man. eating Calvin chocolate. It's a bad idea. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, it looks like a frog. Turn the light off. You nougat. only... Too hot? That's what those slugs turn into, man. Dude, what if this becomes a good guy <laughs> monster? <laughs> That would be wild. Like Terminator 2 Judgment Day, when Dude, we get a good one? Yeah, yeah. That would be sweet. That would be, cool. be amazing. I think it's growing. It is or growing. Something. <gasps> is it getting back legs? Like, binya binya polywog. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? What is that? Binya binya polywog. Oh. Everybody has a frog. They okay. Shut the fuck up, Aaron. How does no one know Gullah Gullah Island? Sounds familiar. Because we're 30 year old. Sounds men. made up, Aaron. The holy oh, shit, the polywog. Told you. <laughs> fuck it, you've seen this. <laughs> <laughs> Polywog is just an I immature frog. Okay, back in time, or yeah. <gasps> Who's it? Look at that. Yep, it's her. No. Oh, she's coming out. Okay. Run and hug her. Eat, right, because they're living in a cabin together. Right. He's just running hug her. Oh, yeah. Hug her. Because she's been gone and the danger. He doesn't have much of a relationship with her, right? She's a kid and he had a daughter. <gasps> <gasps> Holy shit. The great thing about it, it's only eight thousand calories. <laughs> It's not Hopper. On day 600? I don't know. On day 700? On day 800? On day 800? Don't use your power? On! Oh, damn it. Friends, don't lie! Ooh, th wasn't that theme in last uh, season? Yeah. Damn, I wish I had her powers. It'd be so sweet. Where's he going? <coughs> Library? You've gotta read about fucking polywogs, dude. Wait, what do you do with this turtle? This turtle just Put him on the ground. He's just roaming around on the floor. Oh no, his mom's gonna put the turtle back in the pen. Five at a time. Are you shitting me? Excuse me? What the hell? Run! <laughs> <laughs> Every night, 
He would come to me in my dreams. And every night when he came to me, I ran. And then one day, the nightmare suddenly stopped. Want to know how? Yeah. Stop turning away. Well, easy peasy, right? I like Bob. Some other kid drowned at the quarry. He thought it was Will because his body was super decomposed. Did anyone ask who the other kid was? <laughs> Large iron rod was driven completely through his head. Oh, yeah. His frontal cortex. Yeah, frontal lobe. Frontal cortex. Cool. Yeah. Prefrontal cortex. Fucked up his, his personality. Have lunch. Hey, if you clung, why? I have something that you won't believe. Damn, this lunch. After lunch. Ah, uh, he brought him. Okay. D'Artagnan? Good. Like an X or something. What's in the center? That's the the power plant, right? Oh, it keeps spreading out more and more from that point. Yeah. Yep. It's dry. Oh shit. Jim Croce. Yeah. <clears throat> Life is like a hurt. Hopper would do this in front of no one else. No L. No. <laughs> It goes! Yeah. Oh! Traps! Oh, that's cool! What if a deer trips up? It scares him off. There's gonna be a couple ground rules. Ah! Rules! Always keep the curtains drawn. Uh. Only open the door if you hear my secret knock. And rule number three, don't ever go out alone. Especially not in the daylight. She's breaking all, all three, three rules. rules. She even broke one rule she didn't have to break, which is looking out the window and opening the curtains. The act of defiance. Don't be stupid, Rules. She's being stupid. Not stupid. Oh, you little badass. Just like the hurt. That sounds more like it. Oh, oh my gosh. That didn't go in, did it? Yeah. yeah. It looked like it went behind it. Yeah. No, it went in. You should have seen it in the band section. Oh, we have to go with their argument where she said, I don't love you. Tell me. Tell you what? You love me. You're pushing, man. The whole love you thing's a tricky thing to push. Yeah. From too. either side. Yeah. Yeah, but they've been saying oh. it for a long time. Look! <laughs> oh, God, he's slimy. Yeah, I would not hold that thing. It looks like something's moving inside of it. Legs? Legs. Yep. Not the oh, right! No, no, not no, the no. right! It's like gizmo! So, if he's not a polywog or a reptile... Then I've discovered a new species. Something that fucking upside down. The actual slug? Did it come out of his mouth? Wait, he heard them? Yeah. We'll need to talk to you. Yeah, go to Mr. Clark. My JVC was a little dinged up. Your what? The, the video camera. Did you watch it? It's the ones like us that don't punch back that people really take advantage of. You know, they rub your nose in it just a little bit more. I don't know why they do that. Because they can. Oh, shut up, you homeschool fuck. Who the fuck bullied you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't lose Bob in this or something. I keep things nice and quiet for you. Mm -hmm. And you keep your shit out of my town. That is the deal. I have done my part. Now you do yours. Convince me. Yeah, Hopper. I like so, him. Your mom's boyfriend. He works at Radio Shack, right? Yeah. Bob? Do you want to skip fourth period? Not much. Man, I like Bob. Radio Shack, Dr. Pepper. Do I have a mother? Yeah, of course you have a mother. You could really be born with that one. Lady in a chair, right? Damn, 11! Ninja Vanish! You fucking bad. Shit! I'm gonna take my kid and run my ass out there, really. <laughs> Fuck yeah, ah! boy. Okay, if you saw that, would you be like, she has powers? Or would you be like, that was a fucking ghost? I'm gonna go weird. <laughs> no, Joyce. What the f- What are you doing? Look at that! That's awesome! Whoa! Oh my gosh, she's drawing it like a crazy woman. That's some scary shit, dude. Yeah. Go Hopper. She's not my sister. Not? Take him to Hopper, Dark is good instead. Maybe he should be dead. How can you say that? How can you not? He's you don't know what it now. is. You're not thinking, man. You're not thinking. Oh, he's fat. Legs. Here they are. Oh. It's got the circular mouth. No, don't open the door. She's gonna open no, the door. 
You s ah, run. I mean, stupid, you fuck stupid out girl. Here. You can't just blame her for all the problems. Right now. Blame her for that one. I need to tell you something. Something about Barb. What? Uh, What's this hatchway do with Radio Shack? You remember that Russian girl Murray was going on about the other day? Uh, do not move. He's got to juggle a lot of plates. Oh, yep. shit, dude. Okay. Did he hear it? Somewhere to eat. Oh, no, man. Shit. That way. That way. That way. That way. Nope. Damn it. Was that the little thing? Where's the L? Call me a person. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. God damn it. He's gonna see him laughing and shit. Yep. Uh... Mm. Oh my god. ZL. Oh. It wasn't her neck. Oh, fuck. Damn it! Quit Batmaning people! Oh no, Will's gonna find it. It's gonna be bigger, it's gonna be much bigger, much, 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 much bigger. Fuck. It's gonna be shitting on the toilet. It's or it's gonna be on somebody's face shitting on the toilet. What are you It's in there like, excuse me. Eating I'm something. It's gonna be eating something. Stop doing any of those things. Yeah. No, don't drop. I like that sound. Don't freak out. Oh, oh shit. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Now, is this the sight thing, or is he actually crossing over? I think he's actually crossing over. Oh, the sight oh, thing would fuck. mean that he is crossing over, Eric. That's what the true sight means. He, he does cross over physically? That's, what, that's I, what the true sight means. I thought it means you could just see him, too. You jump in your mouth or some shit. He does trust Dustin. Put him in your hat. <laughs> he's just gonna escape. He's gonna, he's he's gonna, gonna try to face him. He's gonna stop. That's for a dream of... You should have stayed in the school, man. Holy shit. It's coming for him. I don't think it's gonna work. Fuck no, it's not gonna work. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a smoke thing. Yeah, it's smoke. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Ah. Oh. What's going in his eyes and ears and... No! Come on, don't end. No! Fuck! No! No! Why will, man? Stop. Why will? Because he's... He's the one. The I'm done. Are we doing this? Oh, I'm watch the next one right now. It's to. <laughs> it's set up so well to make you want to watch the next one right now. Like, the garbage yeah. can't think of the same thing. Like, fuck, what is it? The creator was saying that he doesn't feel bad about the, the cliff cliffhangers at the end because he, you know, he knows you can watch right Oh, yeah. But this right here, I mean, that's way worse than the fucking what's in the can. trash can. Yeah, like, yeah. And we knew what it was. I was saying Muse, but he was the slug, right? Yeah, he was a slug. Like, is Dart from Will? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, that's I think the idea. So. Yeah. How fast is he? I growing? thought it was just like he remembered it. Cause that was like what he last can find year, to eat, right? I guess. I mean, it could be that there's more of them, and he just recognizes that as being something that could be, like, metamorphosized. Well, he heard them in the Upside Down when he crossed over when, when they went trick-or-treating. Yeah. yeah. The scientist, when he was talking to Hopper, was saying there aren't any more slugs. Well, he was saying that they were keeping the, the thing controlled by burning it every day, right? They were keeping them contained by burning it away, yeah. I think they were just talking about the butthole. Yeah. No, yeah, that's right? where they're coming through, right? But Hopper was saying, what if there's a leak somewhere, yeah. somewhere else that they're yeah, not like, accounting for? Well, are they causing the rot? No, I think the upside down might be leaking liquid or shit underground. Like it's spreading somehow. Like, I think the things are starting to merge and they haven't fully merged yet. That's why like Will's able to see things that they're kind of there, but not everyone can see them yet. And that's like kind the, of what They're trying to merge both planes, is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, that's what I think. So I was, was going to look up the true sight definition yeah, from D&D, because it's sight. from D&D, but like... The way they described it on here was seeing it through um, like the, ethereal, the plane. ethereal plane. So, like, that would be, like, spirits and stuff. Because yeah, he, he, he didn't go through any kind of portal or anything. He just appears there. Yeah. Like, any other time we've seen somebody cross over, they're going through some kind of portal. Because L, she doesn't go to the upside down. She goes to, like, the black place. Like, the astral plane thing, right? Yeah, she's in a place, like, not... Now, I mean, she created a portal when she was screaming in that water. True sight up to a specific range can see in normal and magical darkness. See invisible creatures and objects automatically detect visual illusions and succeed on saving throws against them and perceives the original form of a shape changer or creature that is transformed by magic. So anything that... It, it's all about magic for the most part. Uh, furthermore, the creature can see into the ethereal plane. Do you think it's possible that he's just like... 
he's still in our world, but he's seeing the upside down, and then that thing can see him. I think there's gonna be more to that, more to it than that, because there's the there's them still trying to keep the other thing contained, and there's the pumpkins being destroyed, and there's D'Artagnan, 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 Dart, yeah. Like I, I feel like there's more than just like he just is seeing what's happening in the other plane. I feel like there's got to be some kind of more link. Mm. You know what I mean? I wonder if like. Because they were never really together here. Whenever he left, like, could could they see him running while he was seeing that shit? They that have to the because question. the video camera showed. Because whenever he dropped that, he wasn't in. He wasn't yeah. seeing our world anymore. He was seeing like nothing. And then he started yelling, "Mike!" It was yeah. nothing. He started looking around at like the cars and stuff. Yeah. And it, the camera showed him still standing in that street with other people walking around down there. Yeah. yeah. So he's still he's still he's moving still around here, in the physical world, but like he's seeing. Okay. Like, after that scene when he was running away from it and he went down those stairs and hid, that's where they found him in the yeah. real world. <laughs> yeah, like, he's still doing that in the real world. He's not, like, teleporting between the two. Yeah, that's what I was at. Like, he's not crossing over. No. Yeah, he's I think just, he's, he can see it. I think he's yeah. seeing something else trying to cross over. Uh-huh. What it is that no one else is able to see. I mean, that monster is, like, because we were talking about, what's a, what if it's a big Demogorgon, but it's fucking Shadow. It's all clouds and smoke and yeah. shit. Yeah, I don't, I'm just sick of all this shit going to his fucking eyes. Freaking, I mean, it's going everywhere. It's going in his mouth. His hand-wise told him to face and his, and his ears. ears. I mean, it's going I mean, in every orifice. I mean, I think I think Bob's butthole probably. It's probably on his butthole. His penis. On his dick hole. hole. I mean, it's, huh? it's dimensional butt. Hole. They sure. go through dimensional buttholes. They're used to that probably. Huh? It's terrible. They're going through dimensional buttholes all the time. It's yeah. probably yeah. Through used we to go through him. cosmic vaginas. You might go through buttholes, Aaron. You might be used to that all the time. What do you know of cosmic vaginas? All kinds of stuff. Okay. But no, I thought Bob's like speech of the not running thing was like a nice little thing. Like him trying to connect to Will and tell him about a fear he used to have and how he fought against it. But him. indirectly got him screwed over. I mean, we don't know what happened yet. Yeah, we don't know. I feel like I love Bob too much. Do you think Bob is a bad, bad guy? guy? Like Bob made that happen on purpose? No, no, that happened. Like Bob could, he be part of the lab? Could, he be could he be part of the lab? Oh, fuck. No, I hope not. He's just so nice. I don't, I don't think so because there's... I think there's Sean Astin would not sign up for that. Okay. <laughs> he would not. If he was, he wouldn't have watched it and then seen what happened to Will, right? And then mentioned and then it, told to, it to, Joyce. to Joyce. He would have also, concealed it. Yeah. They don't have anyone working in that facility that went to school and was from Hawkins. They're all from other places, right? Uh-huh. So since they went to high school with this guy, I mean, maybe that's the connection is finding someone who did. Sure. But we have no one else. I hope not. We have no one else that's done that, right? Yeah. So he, so he works at Radio Shack full time and he... Also, moonlights as a shadow agent for this shadow corporation. I mean, I mean no, he doesn't just, moonlight as that's his that's his cover that he's that's a plant. That's his real if job, he and he would be yeah. working. Yeah, if the theory held true, then he would have to just be a deep cover agent. And all he has right? to do is just call them every once in a while, tell them what's going on. Yeah, and he just stays watching them, monitoring better. You know, I don't know. I I, I love him. I just yeah, you know, I don't want that to be true. Yeah, usually my love's used against me. Cats don't, how he became deaf. Cats don't like D'Artagnan. I hope he doesn't eat that turtle. Yeah. What? He's got to be home to eat the turtle. Um, Dustin has him now. What? Oh. Yeah, he has him under his hat. We don't know. Where, he, they haven't left the school yet. Yeah. He might not even make it home. Okay. They might go to Hopper. Hopper might take him. Scientists might show up at the school looking for L. Fight, take, his, take this frog thing. I hope so. Hope somebody takes it away from us. Like, Dustin. what's that going to turn into? Is that going to turn into a demigorgon? I think I so. I think so. It, it, the mouth legs looks and like it has the, the teeth all in a circle, and that's what the demigorgon did. It's like blue. Dude, what if Those we things get... are fucking disgusting, aren't they? Why should we eat a friendly this? demigorgon. What if we get good gorgon? gorgon to steal? I could, I mean, I feel like that would be an 80s trope. Friendly gorgon. Like a friendly gorgon? Like S- Slimer. Gorgon. Slimer wasn't a bad ghost. Yeah, or Gizmo. In the 80s, and Gizmo, exactly. Fucking T2. He hates the light. And they also, I feel like, reference like, too I nice. found him, guys. You know, on that walkie-talkie, he's staring, staring at him kind of thing. Yeah. I felt Slimer there. Like, I feel like it's an 80s, like, this could be a good guy. Yeah, but it also just, I don't know. And it loves Dar- it loves Dustin. It doesn't like anyone else, but it likes Dustin. And it it's screamed at Will like yeah. an evil thing. But Dustin came up, it's like, mm-hmm. like it's Mama. I hope yeah. so. It would like, be, it like would maybe be fun, event. cool, but I don't know about this show in particular, like, to have, like... A demigorgon that fights other demigorgons. Like in the last Could episode, you? like he stands between them and, and the, the fucking smoke, shadow giant monster. Smoke monster thing, that's Boom. so fucking good. And he that swallows it cool. with his yeah, like, right? four vital mouth. at it and stuff, and they're like fighting, and it's like, Rah! and it's like, Whoa! like the like, Goonies. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> well, that means they die. Because we had talked about in the previous season, like, well, how many demigorgons really are there? Because we've only ever seen one, right? 
<laughs> but yeah. if the if the slug is a demi gorgon, that means that there has to be more. Because mm-hmm. we saw slugs. Yeah, one came out of Barb's mouth. Yeah, right. And, and what was ever happening to Will? Yeah, which was yeah. In, I think it was inseminating a slug into him. Okay. The, the thing with uh, what is it doing now though? Like, what, why is it doing this? Is it gonna absorb into him and then he's gonna be its portal into the real world or something? Oh man. It could be like a. I don't know. Like it has to. I don't know host. anything about that. Yeah, though. I have no idea. B- between Nancy and Steve. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're both. I think she's thinking about it the wrong way, and he's going about it the wrong way. Like trying to pressure and I love you. Yeah, I mean, and she's they, thinking about it incorrectly. What said, if I didn't mean that? I mean, I don't think they previously said I love you. So exactly, right? they have. Yeah. So like when it suddenly stops, I mean, that's not like him pressuring her to say it like for the first time or something. Right? I know, but right now because she's in a fragile state of mind, thinking, you know what, maybe I, I don't know what I think. Maybe yeah. I don't love him. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's. Yeah. I think it's always the stupidest thing when I hear that stuff in stories. I, I think that, it, I mean, if she's questioning or whatever, which she very well could be, that's why it came out as, like, a drunk thing. And, I, I mean, I see his behavior as being at least appropriate, being like, what the fuck? I mean, we went through I mean, this traumatic experience, and... I see what both of them are doing. Well, yeah, I, I know. I understand how, you feel, how he's feeling. Though, yeah. You know, but I understand both sides of it. I, I remember, like, sophomore year, I held Melanie's hand after dating for, like, a month and a half. And she freaked out. You got, you got to the hand-holding stage? Yeah, yeah, man, know, right? hell yeah. And then she for broke you. up with me like a week and a half later. Bitch, <laughs> we held hands? Because we held hands and it freaked her out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then whenever we dated again, like a year or so later, like I waited I waited to say I love you. I didn't I didn't say that until she said it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to say it until she says it. You should have said I know. Out. I know. I can understand what they're saying and yeah. her being not understanding where her emotions are, what she wants to do and stuff too, or... Maybe she's struggling on what she thinks between Steve and Jonathan or something. You know, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and she also sure. has the whole Barb thing. She's taking the guilt well, of what Barb is she, dying. She has. And she's putting she that went, guilt, and she's putting that guilt on him, saying, "Oh, well, we killed him." Yeah, but it's it's like a survivor's guilt that she feels responsible for Barb dying, which yeah. I don't feel is necessarily true that it's her no. fault. There's some kind of crazy monster on the map. Do it. <laughs> yeah, but her blaming herself. I mean, I do get that. Because yeah, of course. Her conversation with Jonathan, like Will came home, Barb didn't, and nothing ever happened, you know. Yeah. Will got a fake funeral. Barb, people still think she's alive, you know. Yeah. Like it's gotta be like in the the, the parents that are selling their house, you know. Oh gosh. Like yeah. Why did the, why the institute doesn't do something about that? They Maybe. don't need to. They want yeah. They it's don't. not it's not that they're losing their house because they can't pay for it. They're paying for an investigator to try to figure out what happened to Barb. Yeah. They're not. Gonna they're help, willingly selling their house. They're not going to help her pay for her house or yeah. whatever, and give her money to find an investigator to give. Them no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying why don't they plant a body why don't they Barb? Have some kind of that way they up? stop looking. That's true. I mean, they put the. Yeah, it's but, a, well, it's a new that regime. Was, that was. That's, I, that's I know. True as well. But it was the main reason why they wanted them to stop looking for. I mean, they uh, they plan well, they already planned a story about her leaving and stuff. You can't just bring a body in there. Well, they did say they did say like you know Hopper's no like they they've tried to you know Hopper is the point of contact with the lab between the lab and the yeah. and the town. So as much as they con- are concerned, Hopper puts a cake take care of that, right? Yeah. Well, I think they and took care just, of it when they first came in to help cover it up. Yeah. Now his job is to help make sure that. Everything stays quiet. Things stay quiet and moving along. So whenever yeah. they first came in, I think the whole Russian thing and all that legit went through, and she t- got taken away by the yeah. Russians or whatever it was that Barb, whatever cover story they gave Barb, I'm sure they gave her something. Sure. But. Well, okay, my question then is what does going to Radio Shack have to do with calling Barb's parents? Well, I thought they'd made a voice changer at first. I think it's going to be some kind of surveillance stuff. Well, yeah, remember they're looking at the kid with the, with the recorder? With the record, thing? With the it's Walkman. just like a Walkman. Just yeah. Walkman. Oh. yeah. Okay. I think what they're doing is getting some kind of surveillance so that they can call if she thinks people are listening, and then film them and maybe do something with it. Film. I don't them. think she's gonna go and tell the mom. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, so think she is either. I think that, it was just. It was I think it was a bait. It was a bait. I don't get my because they knew that they were listening. Time. Thank you guys. Right. Shane has to go. We'll Thanks keep for watching. Talking. Support the poor army. Hopper knows that uh, L. Is visiting Mike, so I mean at least that they're, they're having that open communication. He just keeps saying soon, soon. That's why she left, right? Yeah, yeah. So she, she leaves. feels like she's being lied to. She goes to see Mike. Sees Matt, him and Max. I mean, the one second he's fucking smiling, she sees. Yeah. You know? uh, and then she like. And then where'd she go? She just I leaves. Don't, I don't know. Is she gonna go back home and like? Could she see Will? Shame. 
I mean, she may go back to the, uh, the cabin. Where else does she have to go? She's Mike never, was the only thing she wanted to come see. She's never yeah. really met Will, has she? No. Just an astral plane. Yeah. I'm saying, like, could she, like, find Will? She's going to um, have to do some magic to separate him from that yeah. big arm beast. I don't know if she has any connection between seeing the two, like, planes like Will does. No, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, if he were to get all that shit and then come back and now he's, like, shit Will or something... Like, does she just meet shit him? Will? And, yeah, I don't <laughs> like know. He's covered in shit? No, like he's possessed or something. Oh. I don't know. Like a bad will? And then, it like, you know, that if that's, like, their first meeting or something, that could, like, make her feel even more isolated. We had, I still don't know his name, but fucking Red Ranger. Oh, same about that, Not My Sister. Not My Sister. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Don't call him Red Ranger. That makes maybe me cool. Maybe stepsister, maybe, or could something? Could be a stepsister thing. That could work. I'm literally a redheaded stepchild. <laughs> You're right. I did pick up on the little thing about uh, Hopper said his granddad, right, lived in the cabin yeah. before he did. Mm -hmm. And he just doesn't use it anymore. He uses uh, it for storage now. So it is something that he has, but he just doesn't use it. So yeah. yeah. He probably still has his other place. He just yeah. keeps doesn't it there. Because yeah, we really talked about that or mentioned <laughs> something like, do you buy this place? Do you still have his old house? Like, yeah, what's where's his, his trailer by so, the lake? It was bugged. And, yeah, because like... If he just got a cabin randomly, feel, you know, people probably watching like, sure. why'd you buy this cabin? I, I wonder if there's any connection we're supposed to make with, uh, because he had a box that lab was labeled Sarah, which is his daughter that died. And he's like, I'm going to go hide L where I'm hiding my stuff I have in storage with Sarah. Could be some kind of like, where do I take her? This is the place that first comes in my mind. You know, something like that. I mean, that. It's, it's probably the only other housing that he has well, of course but i mean in terms of, like the theme of like i'm not saying that like l is a replacement but in his mind he can have that same feeling of protection to a little girl that doesn't know what's happening to her you know i thought you meant like where do i take things i don't talk about anymore here's my no, dead daughter's no story. i, I just mean like the, the theme of the, the two the connection between him and these two young girls you know yeah maybe so um, only other thing i have is that john lied yeah, I don't know why Jonathan had to lie like that. I think he's just being nice to her and Steve, and he's not trying to drive a wedge between them. He's not trying to, like, I, oh, if I get her, I win, you know? He just, he's, you know, he, him and Steve had their differences, but in the end, they all worked together to fight that Demi Gorgon, you know? Yeah, and I guess Steve did, like, buy him a new camera, maybe. I was, I'm not sure. I was talking last time, or maybe it was the time before, we had that scene with, uh, Nancy and Steve and it was like they were talking about their homework assignment and I was like well, what do you th I think there's any kind of deeper meaning behind that you know like what connects them it's like oh we both won or the characters both win you yeah. know maybe there's something to be said about their relationship like they got through that traumatic experience and stayed together they both won but Nancy's doubting the connection now that we have her kind of like not saying I love you and stuff it could be something there what about the scarecrow? I don't know that's just some weird shit. They said two things that didn't connect, like a scarecrow <laughs> and that and D'Artagnan. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was also thinking this time they had the story of uh, I can't remember what the guy's name, but has the rod <coughs> through his oh. head. <coughs> Phineas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he said uh, there, you know, there's a complete change in personality. Do you think that will something happens here, and then he has that complete change in personality? He's going to have a rod to his head. And he's going to have something through his head and his eyeballs and his ears and his nose yeah, and all that shit. Yeah, I think we're going to see a change in personality, definitely. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Like he's possessed by a demigorgon shadow. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a demigorgon, right? No, like it's, it's not, not made it's not the same. Like, I mean, it's a dark is more like a demigorgon. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <sighs> the end of the last season. Remember when they were like, it's not going to be this. Anymore. Boom, it's this. And then they cast Fireball and killed it or whatever. Yeah. But... What if, I don't remember what that was, but didn't that have like more legs and stuff hanging off of it? I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. I don't, remember I don't the, remember. the little D&D piece they had? Yeah. Sure. Before it was like Shit. a Demi Gorgon, the Demi Gorgon. And it's like, that's a Demi Gorgon. Yeah, I don't but know. But at the end, they had a different thing sure. that they killed. I wonder if it's late, like modeled after that. I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> I can go back and watch that end of that last. Um, and then there was a slight hint to the, the people, like Nancy, I think, was saying it. The people that did this, they're responsible. And he's like, well, they're all dead. And like, is, are they? You know, which to me hints That's why like, I think she went to Radio Shack and did all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's not hinting like Brenner or anything. Because Brenner, I mean, he he's straight dead. up died. He's, he's I dead. can't remember well, exactly what I, happened. I think what she's saying is not that 
like the people that died were doing it, but they weren't the only ones behind it. There's sure, like the government it. still knew about what was going on because they they came in and cleaned it up. So Star Labs is exposed to Hopper, and they put on this front saying, well, "Hey, yeah, all those people that happened, they're they're dead." We cleaned up our act. We're doing this. We'll help you. You help us. Yeah. And then we're saying, no, not really. They just do that to put on a front. Star Labs. Did I say Star Labs? You said Star Labs. Well, good, because I like the flash. Cosmic vaginas, that's why. Cosmic buttholes. <laughs> Interdimensional. Dimensional. Buttholes. Dimensional. Yeah, dimensional, Interdimensional buttholes. Buttholes. Okay, that's all I really have, too. Then you guys got anything else? Uh, I really like the... Uh, the laying down the letter of the law that Hopper had with the scientist convinced me. Convince me. Yeah, I, I love like that. that. That's that's one of my favorite. That and the straight up just punching the guy from season one. I like. I love when he punches things. Uh, Jim it's told me, uh, oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> that whole thing, right? This yeah. fucking inspires me so much. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to be no, continuing uh, on with uh, nice Stranger Things season two. Uh, early access should be right over here. And uh, if you want to subscribe and check out all the other stuff oh, we do, purple make sure shit. you guys check out that. Meanwhile, Eric's gonna. Damn that phone guy. That was gonna help Eric's hand.